huge honor and a huge privilege to be part of uh, the Indian national team in any tournament. And Subrata Bhai, like I think he got his nickname Spider Man from that game. You're not only playing for ourselves but for you guys as well. It's very good to think that I'm a part of uh, a third Asian cup. It's a bit crazy, but it's uh, always a huge honor and a huge privilege to be part of uh, the Indian national team in any tournament. But I think uh, the Asian Cup is special. It is the closest, I believe, that <clears throat> we can get to uh, the World Cup as a major tournament. And uh, it's always a good place to be. And uh, I think uh, we just need to enjoy ourselves. I'm very happy and very content and feeling very confident as well. Um, going into the Asian Cup, making sure that uh, we as a team perform. I think... Uh, a big, big transition has happened over the years. Obviously, uh, with time, players move on. In that uh, batch in 2011, a lot of players were on the verge of uh, ending their careers as well. And uh, most of them, you know, uh, did. And we had new, fresh, young players coming in and taking responsibilities and finding their feet. You know, we, we have players like uh, Sandesh. Obviously, Sunil Bhai is there. <coughs> But in that journey, we found a lot of players who are still with us. Uh, Sandesh, Pritam, Subhashi, Shambhrinder, uh, Tapa, all these players uh, who have been a part of the national team for a long time. And it's, uh, you know, most players the second Asian Cup as well. So, we, I think, were a very experienced side in 2011. And I would say that we are still a majorly experienced uh, side in 2024 as well right now uh, so i think uh, over the years we have uh, developed a lot and players now are you know much more um, hungrier professional and uh, more uh, educated in the sense of uh, the footballing knowledge to come in to show the intent uh, that we have I, I think uh, as a player, I didn't know how important uh, intent can be uh, in the last two Asian Cups that we were a part of. In the first one in 2011, I was very young. I was 18 and I was just lucky enough to be in the team. <clears throat> and in 2019, I think we had qualified for the Asian Cup uh, after a break. So it was a good place to be at and we were, I think, embracing uh, the atmosphere. But now I feel like we have to go in with the intent to do even better and uh, challenge ourselves, challenge other teams and not just be happy with participating in uh, prestigious tournaments like this but to also aim higher and uh, try to move on uh, from the group stages. I think the learning process still, <laughs> still is there uh, but that experience sharing dressing room uh, with you know, the likes of Subrata Paul, Renity Singh by Jun Bhutia, uh, all these legends uh, of the game, uh, sharing the dressing room with them and uh, seeing them at the best of their careers was an absolute uh, joy. And uh, in trainings, I used to enjoy myself a lot because I used to get bullied a lot and uh, pushed around a lot because I was just a very young, slim, lanky uh, keeper in the team. and. Uh, I was just like a sponge. I was just taking everything in, all the experiences in, not only uh, on the pitch but off the pitch as well. You learn so much about camaraderie uh, that the team shared in 2011. And uh, as a senior member now, you just try to share that knowledge that you've had over the last 10, 12 years and uh, just pass it on because that's what we can do with uh, knowledge. I think obviously. Uh, it's, it's not an easy group to be in, but that's where uh, I feel like uh, we should be in because uh, with challenges like this, with discomfort like this, that's the only place where you can grow as a team and uh, to know where we stand, uh, to know where the, all of us stand as a, as a nation, as a team. This is the best place to be, you know, uh, facing teams like Australia who have played in the World Cup 
and uh, Uzbekistan obviously has done really well and uh, Syria we have faced them before as well. So I think we just need to look at this as an opportunity uh, that we need to make the most of uh, regardless of whoever we are playing. Although um, they are very respectful and uh, very good sides, I think we shouldn't uh, uh, think ourselves uh, or being too you know, humble and too low. I think we are here on credit as well and uh, we would like to fight till the end uh, of the 90 minutes till the whistle is blown and make sure that uh, we can do what we have come here for which is you know making uh, the next stages. I think that that performance was just an absolute dream to watch of uh, Subrat Gavai flying around in the goal and not letting Tim Cahill uh, have a header at goal because Tim was known for his uh, leap in the air and, and jumping on crosses and meeting those headers. And Subrat Gavai, like I think he got his nickname Spider-Man from that game, uh, the way he was cancelling those crosses out and uh, making those saves, unbelievable saves, which people thought were going to be show goals. So it was just a joy to watch. I wanted to be that. I wanted to replicate what he was doing on the pitch and I was living that uh, moment, that save that he was making after uh, save and uh, just, just you know, um, enjoy that moment because um, that that's what has created the legacy for uh, the number one spot in uh, the national team. Uh, the sessions have been good. Obviously, we uh, have world class world class uh, facilities over here in uh, Doha, and we just need to make the most of it. Obviously, we have come here uh, while playing in the ISL and. Uh, most of us have played a lot of games. I think it's all about uh, management and uh, how we are going to approach uh, the teams with different uh, kind of tactics and uh, and I think uh, formations uh, depending on who we play. And it's all about management right now, making sure that everyone arrives, uh, all the 26 boys arrive to 13th January feeling fit and uh, feeling good because that's what we can as players give to the coach and uh, then obviously the coach makes the goal. Uh, but I think we just uh, have been enjoying our experience. The last two days have been good and hopefully the next 10 days also are good like this and uh, we make the most of it. Yeah, obviously, I mean, for me personally, I don't, uh, I know the value of, uh, of my spot. I, I was on the sidelines for a very long time. Uh, waiting for my chance, uh, trying to grab it and whenever I uh, got the chance I wanted to you know, have it and not give it away, uh, not so easily and uh, I don't like to share my spot uh, but it is something which uh, when you play for the national team there is a bigger responsibility on hand and uh, everyone in the team needs to know how it feels like uh, to play uh, for the national team and when you are called upon in difficult situations or or in games uh, you need to be experienced enough to handle it and that's where uh, I think me and Amrita have done well uh, together as a team. Uh, we both um, push each other in training. I think uh, I wouldn't have grown so much uh, the way I have in the national team without him and I'm sure that uh, he can vouch for the same uh, in his case. Uh, I think we just need to keep going like this uh, till the time we can as players and uh, enjoy this responsibility uh, playing for the team. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been reading news and uh, hearing about uh, the Indian fans being one of the highest uh, uh, numbers of people.